What you got, Casey? Um, so this week, hey, he's got notes too. There's there's oh, moments. Yeah, those are old notes. There's okay. moments in parenthood that you take note of, and we're all parents here at the table. Mm-hmm. But we have entered into the foray now, where two out of the three are involved in sports. So Zoe Mm. plays softball and, uh, you know, I'm not going to say who it is smoke, but he's kind of like a little bit shorter round, same haircut as you, same haircut beards. Not quite as, you know, good coach, good, great coach, good toss. Like he does an excellent job. Um, not going to say his name though, but (laughs) it's one of those deals where she's playing softball. It's great. I'm coaching which creates an interesting thing. And then Ryan's playing T-ball over at uh, La Y. Oh, yeah. Which is cool because four or five of his teammates, they all go to Hummingbird together. Oh, cool. So yeah. it's kind of neat that way. Yeah. But we officially have had to split up mm-hmm. to tackle the uh, schedules of our children. Wait till all. Wait till you have three going different. Spots. Yeah, I know. And it's... Uh, and Janelle's working on an opposite shift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what... So Janelle works. She still does their late nights on oh, Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a softball game on Monday. And I'm, I pack lunches. Like, I think I got all my shit figured out. Like, we're going to eat sandwiches there mm-hmm. while Zoe plays. Everybody's going to just eat their sandwich. Everything's going to be fine. Rhett pulls out an apple juice, or Ryan pulls out an apple juice. Rhett's like, hey, you got an apple juice for me, Dad? Even though he doesn't talk, he just screams at you. And I'm like, well, buddy, that apple juice is Zoe's. You don't have one. Here's your milk. Be happy. He wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. He's screaming. So it's just interesting because parenthood, Mm -hmm. there's different phases. Yes. Because this past, uh, I was talking to... uh, Angie Woodruff. Mm Mm-hmm. And where, shout out, Toys Auto Parts were the best part of you. Mm -hmm. Hashtag shop local. Shop local. Uh, And she was talking about, well, wait until 20 years where you're an empty nester. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't imagine that. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine where my wife and I are sitting on the couch. And it's like. What do you want to do now? Yeah. (laughs) So I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. You want to go to this room, that room, upstairs, downstairs? What do you want to do? (laughs) But it's just a little bit of a wander because we've entered that new phase. I've told and you this before, man. As things get easier, other things become harder, and then one of these days, it'll just be easy. Well, but and that worry and anxiety will always be there. So that Monday, we had a middle school game, and I and I told I told Janelle, I said I won't miss our kids' stuff. Might not make it to practice, yeah. But I said for games and school stuff, like I'm gonna be there. Like that's yeah. My father has been oh, yeah. a big proponent Same of you me. need to be my there dad, for your kids. Hundred percent. My dad and never it, missed. One hundred percent agree with it. And neither did yours. I know. That you know. Fact. And so it's Taz. Yeah. Well, you got to remember he, oh, he worked, worked nights. He worked nights. Yeah. He worked yeah. nights so for there was a, there was a yeah. stretch there You're for right. a long time. Now he didn't. He didn't yeah. like. To, I mean, yeah, he wanted yeah, to be yeah, there. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. No, I'm not so, been out. Then I miss all sorts of games. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When we do, and th- I think that's one thing that you and I. That's going back to your first topic. That might be not a needle, but that's one thing that I sometimes, and I'll, I'll admit it. That's one thing that sometimes I think I disagree with. Like yeah, I don't mean, go. To, I don't go to out of town games. Yeah, is David doesn't. Words? He doesn't. Not really no. fighting words. Okay. Just sometimes, like things that we can uh, agree to disagree on. Sure. Gotcha. Yeah. It, it, but it's it's just interesting because it's unique and and I told I uh, so I told my staff I was like hey it's your guys' show on Monday yeah and they didn't play good on Monday so it didn't yeah. seem like I make a difference either way <laughs> right but it just and oh you missed you missed the game to go to the softball game yep are we calling that softball because our, our girls are on the same team yeah right? uh, are we is that what we're calling that yeah no, that's softball I mean they play with a, a, a well, eleven inch softball I know but I they wanna, put it on the tee. After they swing and miss, They're, right? I okay. Yeah, so we're calling it softball. So why is it yeah. t-ball for baseball, but not t-ball for softball? Well, because originally t-ball is literally just t-ball. There's no pitches. Well, you don't. What Williams playing? They call t-ball. They don't call it baseball. This is, no, William what William plays is not called t-ball. It's called rookie ball. 
Oh, oh, so yeah. you got your terminology there mixed yeah. up. Rookie there, ball is is rookie ball, where you get five pitches, and if you don't hit them, then they go to the T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T ball was created. Now here again, there's you could tell me that I'm wrong, and I could be. I don't I know. Could be wrong, I but I f- feel very <laughs> confident that I'm right. But T ball, I believe, is where there is no pitching. It's just you put the ball in the okay. tee, and then you go up there and you hit, and then the defender's defense, and then you get a run base. Well, did we skip that phase then? I don't or? think we just. I don't think we do that. They just go. Oh, they don't. They just go straight into coach. Pitch. What do they do? At, what do they do at the Y? We played T ball. Zoe played two years okay. of T ball at the Y. But okay. There's no pitching. Like See, there's no is pitching. Exactly. Was Savannah's yes. first year. Yeah, yes. and uh, so right. I had to get. Yeah, you know, so Monday was actually my first experience at a game because Saturday I was. Up in Carmel. Yeah. Yeah. After well, opening day. Right. Well, I'm just going to let you know that um, after two years of T-ball over at the Y, watching it over here, I can't tell the difference. So <laughs> no, it's, okay. it's, um, so I coach, I've been coaching eight U now for two, this is my second season. I no guess. more scrap yards, right? No. They graduated. We from moved that. on okay. to the uh, flames. We're the flames this year, which by the way, we got our big, we got to win. So opening day was a scrimmage type atmosphere. Everybody got to bat. Nobody struck out. You know, yay raw. Everybody gets a participation trophy, blah, blah, blah. Today, or not today, but uh, Wednesday night was our first game. Were you guys able to turn it on? Yeah. We, Hammered we, down. We huh? smoked them. Yeah, we did really. We played really well. Everybody hit the ball well and everything like that. Now, tonight, I watched my 10 year my ten year eleven year old daughter play, which I was yeah, gonna say they yeah the twins the twins just turned eleven hey, there you the 16th. Go. But uh, so Maxwell played. Uh, so we were we were uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. Tuesday was Maxwell. Wednesday was Eleanor, and Thursday was Evie tonight. And I had I I, I had to I got up. I think I was probably midway through the fourth inning. I got up, put my lawn chair in the car, and just sat in the car. Like I couldn't, I couldn't go anymore. I just couldn't watch it anymore because I was reprimanded several times by the warden for, you know, voicing my opinion as a parent. You, you were know that what I mean? dad in the stands? No, no, not okay, really. Well, just... Not really. But like, you know, like just routine stuff that you know, like we shouldn't like silly mistakes. You know, like a little blooper. In between the pitcher's the pitcher circle and the second baseman, where either the pitcher could have made that play, the shortstop could have made that play, the second baseman could have made that play. Nobody spoke, nobody talked, everybody just watched. And they watched the ball fall. And they watched the girl get, you know, get a go ahead and get a base hit, and another girl, you know, coming from second, round and third, and go on and score while the ball's just hanging out out here in the middle in the middle of the infield. And that's what all I said was, catch the ball. Like I said, I said catch the ball. And, and my, the warden sent you to the, the – Oh, the, the, she got – She sent you to the shower, She was hotter bro. than a $3 pistol, oh, boy. Man. And I just – I don't know. Sometimes I feel you like – put the coach away. I you can't I, put the coach I, away. Well, we're there. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're there. Like, it's time. You know what I mean? Like, we're 11 years old. You've been playing softball for four or five years now. Like it's time to either shit or get off the pot. You know what I mean? Like you, I don't say, I'm not saying that I have like super high expectations. I'm, Sounds like it. I'm not. Hey, wait till they get to be 13 or 14 I know. and they're still doing the exact same thing. I know. Thing. And that's, that's the wild thing to me. You know what I mean? But like, Hey, other than that. Uh, so what exactly was your wonder then? Just, just the different ju- phase juggling of, of the, Yeah. Okay. Just the you know, that all, new all phase. three of you got three, right? Yeah. The trio. Yeah. You guys that you guys amaze me. You're I a mean, one and done guy. Just just, just uh, sweet Savannah. Yeah. Uh, amen, baby. That's right. Never and, uh, just one and done. Daddy's girl. <laughs> you never know. Uh, she's got me wrapped around her finger. That's for, for sure, man. That is for sure. That's but, awesome though. But when I see all you guys, you know, you go here, you go there. I don't know how you do it. My wife's half well, he doesn't sleep. So I mean, <laughs> Yeah, you would well, see I was your actually, we were uh speaking of phases I had like an epiphany today. Ooh. So what's the other way to say that? Epiphany. Epiphany. Epiphany? I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I yeah, yeah, different exactly. than epiphany. Uh what's the what what am I thinking of? Epitome? Well, epitome. That's, epitome. Okay, yeah, that's how it's spelled. Hey yeah. Smoke, you talk about phases. What's it like now to have a high schooler? Is that has it been a different phase yet? Or is it or probably when they start driving? No, but, no. And he's close. Tell you the truth, like I'm not trying to to. He's got he's a good boys. Yeah. but he's yeah, got he's, good boys. Why it's like a, a 
pretty straight arrow. Sure. I don't have to worry about them too much. All the boys do good in school. They get great grades. Because I told them, I was like, hey, uh, sports are fine, but, you know, you start dipping into C's or lower, sure. you're just not playing it. Yeah, just Max Max A's. lost the place. Max lost the PlayStation. Like, Chris, to, wouldn't you guys agree? Wouldn't you? Today. Wouldn't you think that that? Because we all remember ourselves in the oh, 16, yeah. 17. Like, don't you think that would be like a transition phase? You're talking about oh, transition, right? Oh my god! Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. So Wyatt's handled it pretty smoothly. Yeah, and he's not been. So he's got his permit. He's not been driving a ton, but but he's still. Uh, I was just talking to another baseball dad the other day. Like Wyatt has never really asked to run around with his buddies. Now he's got a like a couple buddies he'll like stay the night with, or a couple buddies will come here for fishing. But Wyatt has never said, "Hey, can I go running around with such and such?" You know, and what are you going to do? I don't, know, I don't know. We're going to go driving yeah. around. But maybe that doesn't happen as often anymore, just because everybody's so no. connected online. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but he's never just said, "Hey, I'm, I want to go hang out. They're going to come pick me up." Because I've been waiting for that. Like, sure. who's this? Is going to drive? Yeah. It's Where are you going? Jackass, you know, but but he's still not asked. So it's not been that much different, really, just because he's got a good head on his shoulders, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what that deal is. But we were late to baseball. Pardon me. T- What'd you call it? <laughs> Rookie ball. Rookie, Rookie ball, ball. tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I even tonight. Okay. So I even got home early. Uh, had to come home to get some a package in the fridge. Uh, did some things here. Went and picked up Wyatt from practice. I fixed two weed whackers so the oldest and middle boy can get the weed whack, and they both needed – they're both broke. So I got them going. Yeah. Uh, Wyatt was hungry, and I was like, yeah, buddy, I'll, I'll cook before I take William to practice. No big deal. So I was grilling burgers. We got done eating, and I look at the clock, and it's 7.03, and I'm like, man, I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> and I was like, she is going to be pissed. <laughs> so I start looking through my texts from, from the warden, and I'm like – I was like, William, put some shoes on. He's like, what? I was like, you got practice. He's like, what? And like a year ago or even six months ago, I would have just like just had a meltdown. Oh. No, no, I'd have just like, because I'm a very like, if you're not early, you're late type of guy. Yeah. But I've also seen the boys like that impacting them negatively, like anxiety. Because of, of anxiety, yeah. Yes. But that's so, a great, it's a great trait though. I mean, to be punctual. Sure. So, and, uh, and that's the thing. I'm like, well, because Jenny gets, she's like, you got them doing it. They, like, if we're not 30 minutes early, they're freaking out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. But uh, on the drive over with Williams, just me and him, like, we're going to teep rookie ball. I'm like, you know what? How many years have we been doing this? You know how many people have shown up and just come strolling in, like, yeah. 20 minutes late? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, how the hell with it? And we <laughs> got there, the and we we walked in, and they said, "Hurry up, get in here! You're you're up to bat." And I'm like, "There you go, go!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he crushed it just to first base, and it bounced about ten feet out. And he had a great time. And I was like, "Man, it like worked. I wasn't freaking out." I'm like, "I'll be damned!" I'll yeah. be damned. All this time, hey, before yeah. you guys, years. <laughs> did you you brought something up there? You pay your kids for chores? No. Yep. Okay. Uh, is that that's sort of. becoming a thing? See, I was today we were taking a stroll around the track. Another student said, "I well, I get twenty bucks from mowing my yard." <laughs> that I is that a th- like was we, that a thing? Growing so there is a friend of ours that, in the Ohanian household. It was get out there yeah. and mow the dang yard, yeah. which I'm not saying right, wrong, indifferent. Right. I just so there was a kid. There's a friend of the program that his kid is uh, mowing the yard and saving the money to buy a PS5. And I, I did never question it, but I, I questioned it internally. Like you pay your kid to mow the yard. Like anytime I had a chance to mow the yard, anytime my old man would say, Hey, you want to mow the yard? I was like, hell yes. I want to mow the yard. Like I looked at it as a a privilege. You know what I mean? Like, Oh my God, my my dad's letting me mow the yard. That's how I I know you had a rider. Well, no, no, I'm not in the beginning. Okay. Hell no, I didn't. I didn't have a right now. Grandpa Marvin down in Standout. That's where I cut my teeth. Old copper snap or com uh, snapper comet is what yeah. I learned. I, that's yeah, baby. Yeah, rear engine. Put that baby in gear. Yeah, and just let dump that clutch and pop wheelies and all kinds of stuff. Is yeah. that yeah. the is that the Forrest Gump mower? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what we yeah. mowed on. Yeah. But yeah. like, no, I we don't pay no, our kids. I don't for pay him for like. Like trash has to be taken out and dishes need done and rooms need picked up. They don't get paid for that. But like I was talking about fixing weed whackers today. So five acres, sports and school, it's like a, it's a pain in the ass. Now, if I've got to tell you to do it, and the reason we started paying wide a couple of years ago is the other boys weren't big enough. Mm-hmm. So it was something that he asked if he could make some extra money. I said, sure, you want to start weed whacking? I'll pay you for it. I think I like it. 
I, 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 you know, I haven't, I haven't sat down and thought about it. Enough, yeah. But. So, but now where we're at, and I talked to Jenna today because it's got the both weed whackers, and now Weston's wanting to make some money, and she was, she brought it up. Well, we need to be sure sale. And I was like, well, if they want paid, they can know that they can do it every week, and I went to the yard. Immaculate Damn, mint. Now, if I've got to <laughs> tell you to do it. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid, but I'll give you if it's not done by if it's done before Friday, and I don't have to mention it. Sure, and it, well, they're know, we'll earning pay. their money. So like, you're paying. I for mean, the because initiative. they're going to get money yes, from you. But your if parents, I've got to like beat you down about it, yeah, then that's then you're you, paying for the to you take might the get initiative a bill. to help yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so just household stuff that you ought to do for being like a a member of society. Mm-hmm. You get paid yeah. for that. Yeah. 